Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, happy Friday, everybody. Not Friday yet. These come out every Friday. I know, but it's not Friday today. It's, uh, it doesn't matter. It's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, now everyone knows our recording schedule. I hope you're happy with yourself. Uh, we've already told them this. <laughs> <laughs> No, they just know the upload day. No, don't you remember in the first... You're giving episode, away the secrets! In the first couple episodes, that's all we talked about is what we do. <laughs> yeah, we're just fat and depressed. <laughs> so we need to talk online. <laughs> hey. That guy on TikTok was right. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up blocking him. Oh, really? He wouldn't shut up. Oh, really? Yeah, he kept, he kept hitting me with cool story, bro. I'm like, okay. So he's just trolling. Yeah. yeah, and then I called him a fifth grader, and then he called me a pedophile. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Come over here and let me show you what kind of pedophile I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Night Funk at it. What's again. Up? Night Funk at it. Night Funk at it. Again. At it again. That's the new shirt. It's going to be on the front, and then on the back, dot, 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 again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're starting off strong today. Yeah. Anyways, well, today's episode... We're doing phobias. Yeah. So I'm going to name off some phobias, and you have to guess what they are. Okay. I found some doozies. Before we start on that, let's go ahead and clear the air. What are your phobias? My phobias? Yeah. Like, 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 dark, I. Dark water. Dark water? Yeah. So you only like white water? Yeah. <laughs> only white. White's right. <laughs> <laughs> I drink from the white water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I get my ass whipped all the time, though. <laughs> Hey, someone get that fucking Samoan off the damn... <laughs> hey, get back to Hawaii, boy. <laughs> no, it's just um, dark water. Dark water always freaks me out. Like, like I remember uh, my buddies would go swimming, and then, like, it'd be getting kind of late, and they're like, come on, let's jump in the water. I'm like, yeah, y'all can fuck off with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's pretty much the same. Like, I hate anything that's deep mm-hmm. water. I don't like to... I don't want to go on boats ever. I don't want to be out in the middle of water. Dude, so many people drown in, like, the lake. Yeah, I know. And I've known a couple of people that, like, fucking almost drowned in the mm-hmm. lake. And uh, growing up, there was somebody that we knew who actually did drown. And especially with the lake that we grew up near, because it's fucking haunted. Yeah, Lake and, Lanier. Yeah, we're going to cover that in the future. But Yeah. But, uh, we'll get around to it. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not keen on deep water. Like, I like fishing, but I'm fishing at the dock. I ain't going out in that <laughs> fucking boat. Well, fish from the shore, because if the, the dock, you'll fall off. That's deep water right there, man. Yeah, but I usually go to, like, those really shitty docks that mm. where it only goes out to, like, five feet. I'm like, <laughs> as long as I'm a foot above it, I'm good. That means my head is still, like... But it's not just that, but it's also the fear of just, like, something fucking grabbing you under the yeah. water. Like, I mean, I know we're way too above like sea level to be near like one of those colossal squids, but you never fucking know. It's a freshwater colossal squid. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Or one of them big ass catfish is making its way down from like Tennessee. You know, it was a while back. I remember somebody saying they found a shark in the lake. I think someone probably just dumped it. Shark probably. Can't they can't survive in freshwater. Is there, is there freshwater sharks? Uh, n- yes, actually. I think so. Mm. Yeah. What kind of shark is that? Let's see. Freshwater sharks. Because I know there's a lot of crossover. Okay, Are there freshwater sharks? What is it saying? Oh, there are. There's a couple of them. Uh, there's river sharks, bull sharks, uh, bala sharks, rosaline shark, iridescent sharks. Huh. So, yeah, you have something to worry about now. Yeah, like I said, did chair break again? It popped out of place. If I'm not leaning on it in a certain way, it fucking (laughs) just unhinges. Yeah, then I just fall the fuck back. Yeah, what about what's another fear you have? Um, definitely extreme heights. Yeah, the thing is, I can handle like roller coasters and shit. That doesn't really bother me. But it's like, I know, um, it's always used to always be fun. Like when we would go like out of town, if you were Mm -hmm. staying at like a hotel with your buddies you go to like the roof of the, the oh, fucking yeah, building yeah. you hang out on the top just fool around and uh you know you know just you know horse play up there but mm. if i i stayed the fuck away from that edge as soon as you look over i get immediately dizzy i'm like oh yeah. it's a vertigo yeah yeah and i know uh i used to always get really fucking dizzy going to like atlanta and then if we'd walk like through like 
the main city and stuff. Mm-hmm. If I'd look up at the skyscrapers, I'd just be like, "Oh fuck!" Hey, like, so you have straight up vertigo then? Oh yeah, yeah. That shit fucking it it, it, it makes my palms sweaty every time. Like mm-hmm. like like any time I've ever seen like those YouTube videos or like a video like on like social media about like people doing like those extreme parkour yeah. on top of buildings and shit, I immediately turn away. Like I cannot yeah. look at and. I saw one uh, just recently. Me and my buddy were looking. I was like, I wonder if anyone's ever jumped out of a plane without a parachute and survived. And yeah, one guy did it for fun. Uh, he jumped out of an airplane and he fell like, you know, from skydiving height. And <laughs> it showed from his point of view too. There was a tiny speck on the ground. They had strung up some net. And he had to land in that net to survive. So he did it. But it's like. Your butthole has to be like this the entire time. Oh, I would have died on the way down. Yeah. I would just died of a fucking heart attack. But like at the like close to getting there, uh, the hardest part watching it was uh, when he got there. He can't land face first because then you'll just like snap all your bones in your back. So he had to flip around and pray that he timed it right, or the wind isn't going to push him off course to land in the net. So it's like blind faith. Hopefully, I land in it. Yeah. <laughs> So why did you do this? It's the only way I can come. <laughs> if you look, my cum's falling. You just see him like <gasps> <gasps> the whole way down. <laughs> Bro, there was one. I remember I saw it on 4chan of all places because, you know, 4chan doesn't show anything weird. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, it was um, they shot a porno of two people skydiving. What? And they like to completion all the way down. And they did it. How much time do you have? Not from- long. So the guy was like a 10 second shot. And that's about it. How long is that drop? It's like what, like it's it's like twenty, thirty seconds or something like that. Is it really? I thought it was a couple of minutes. No, that's because of movies. Movies make it seem longer, but it's it's I think not even like a full minute. Mm. Yeah. Damn. You didn't see my dad's skydiving video? No, I mean I <laughs> didn't I didn't know I didn't know uh how long it actually takes. Yeah, well apparently that guy's a quick shot. Mm. It's like <laughs> it was funny because you see the chick like flip around on the wind to kind of line up with the guy. Yeah. <laughs> fucking vagina she's like (laughs) 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 like you know she's like laying on the ground (laughs) she's like come in my face he just comes in his own the wind the wind (laughs) he just goes all up in his face but then again like how do you how do you i mean they have to take some type of viagra i feel like it's just the adrenaline bro the adrenaline but wouldn't that rock solid the entire time hmm. yeah I would think the adrenaline might kill the boner a little bit. I don't know. Because your, your body is kind of like in a sense of panic almost when your yeah. adrenaline rushes. I mean, rushes. maybe they did take Viagra or, or something. Mm-hmm. Cialis. No. It's just like in, in moments where your adrenaline is pumping, I don't ever think about like, was my dick hard when that yeah. happened? Like imagine every time you, what if that happened? Every time your adrenaline went up, you're you, like, every time you're on a roller coaster, hard dick. Every time you're about to get into a fight, hard dick. <laughs> I mean, you'll win that fight. <laughs> Cause you're just like, look at me, look at me. I'm so fucking excited. Right Unless now. the guy you're fighting doesn't give a fuck. And the first thing he does is grab your dick. He just oh, starts God, bending dude. it. Oh God. That's a, that's like a fear of like getting in a street fight. It's just the other guy just not giving a fuck. Oh like, yeah. I know like, yeah, if it's in a fight for your life, I'm grabbing balls, dick. I'm. I'm doing whatever I can to make you stop. Like, yeah, like you go, f- like yeah. you're, the guy is attacking you. And you try to like, you know, punch him, mm-hmm. and then he just nu- he just tries to bite your fucking nose off. Yeah. Like, like, what do no. you what do you do with that? Situation? You can't suck your nose in. You just <laughs> <laughs> the like, boy who lives <laughs> come to die. <laughs> oh my God, bro. He but, bit uh, my fucking nose. <laughs> maybe that's what happened to Voldemort. Maybe. Yeah. I never understood why he had that nose. Because uh, he, I think the movie made it out to be more snake-like, to make him look less human. Mm. But also, I think it's because of the, all the horcruxes that he did. I know you don't know what the fuck they are. Yeah, they're like the things that you have to like destroy in order yeah, to kill him. I, every single time you did that, it like separated I watched the movies. Out. Yeah, but, like it broke up his soul, so it made mm. him less human. So that's why he started looking more like a snake. I remember Horcrux used to also be a name of a really good band back in the day. Oh, yeah, that's right. They only had like one EP and yeah. they never did anything after that. Mm-hmm. Kind of sucks. That was a good name for a band too. Horcrux. Yeah, yeah. it's a damn good name, but that went nowhere. Anyways, <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I'm a woman. <laughs> the what? <laughs> what? What? Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> Look at my pussy, Harry. Look no. at my pussy. <laughs> 
The magic is behind the lips. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You're a trans hair. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the uh, the? Have you seen the AI generated like um, Harry Potter's Balenciaga? Yeah, I love that. I saw oh, that to you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's only Balenciaga Potter. <laughs> <laughs> They've done other ones before. I like the Mexican one. I, they did another one of um, Harry Potter of, it's like, do you even lift Harry? Yeah. And they're all fucking jacked as yeah. hell. Then, the boy who lifted. <laughs> yeah. And then it shows, like, um, it shows, um, what's it, um, not Voldemort, um, who's, like, the, the main, uh, the, 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 the teacher. Dumbledore. Yeah, Dumbledore. He's, like, yeah. jacked, and he's, like, flexing his yeah. abs. He's oh, like, like Dobby. Dobby's just a fucking muscle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> we're off topic yeah yeah well okay well fucking shoot me all the right, first let's do question. it all first right. question all right we're guessing phobias here yeah all right so tell me you, you get two guesses okay all right this is hard to say to iraqi but iraqi buddy or phobia iraqi buddy or phobia yeah is that like spiders going up your ass nope it kind of oh, it you, sounds like you it. saw it it sounds it sounds like that okay Okay. Uh, Iraqi buttery of buddy rophobia. Iraqi buddy rophobia. The fear that your friend is secretly a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Give me pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> I, I used to always have this one bit about Spider Man mm -hmm. uh, where uh, Jonah Jameson just wants pictures of his feet. I want a picture of Spider Man's feet on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he gets the suit, he's just sniffing the suits like the feet, like. <laughs> Oh, it smells like fear. <laughs> well, it's not that. It's the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. What? That's yeah, an actual phobia? That's a fear. Damn. I mean, that does suck when you have like a, whenever you take a bite into like a yeah. Uncrustables and you just have all that peanut butter up there. But it says like people, it stem, probably stems from the greater phobia of choking. Oh. But like at the same time, it's just fucking peanut butter. And it's like, what are you, a dog? Just oh. <laughs> How often have you taken like too much of a bite and almost choked? Oh, a few times. Look, <laughs> look at me, dude. I do it a lot. Yeah, because the thing is, I I'm so I'm so adjusted to eating way too fast. So I'll take like a bite and then I'll take like two more bites and then I just have way too much food mm -hmm. and then I'm still trying to chew food in the back as I have food in the front. <laughs> And then I don't I'm, do that. I clear my mouth and then I bite again. Oh, yeah, I'm so fucking weird about how I eat, dude. Because yeah. I like, I don't know what it, I think it's just been instilled in me since I was a kid about eating fast. Yeah, unlike I can't drink while I have food in my mouth either. You know, I blame gaming. I feel like a lot. You know, your oh, yeah, your mom would be like, "Get off, yeah, get off the game, come and eat." And then as soon as you're done, you go back to play. So you're just like eating as fast as you fucking can. Yeah. I'm there just choking on waffles. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just like. I guess just gonna like it's just sticking to your mouth. I guess it's just the fear of like maybe this peanut butter is just gonna solidify and shut my mouth and I can't breathe. And I don't know. Mm. This is a weird one. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I I mean, I do have a fear of actually choking. I've never actually gotten anything. I, mean, I don't think anyone doesn't have a fear of choking. Well, I yeah, that is yeah. true. But it's not like like a constant fear of yeah. choking. Sometimes you're just like, oh fuck, I'm about to choke, you know, and mm. then you have to like. Because I've never, I've actually choked on anything. I've always had, like, I felt the food go down. And I'm like, oh, it's not going to make it. And then I yeah. have to, like, <laughs> like, cough it up real quick. It's never been, like, it's actually stuck in my, like, throat. Yeah. I don't think I've ever choked on anything either. No. I remember my brother, when he was really young, he, like, choked on a lollipop. Mm. And uh, it's sucking that thing down. Jesus huh? Christ. Well, I mean, you know, because he had such, like, a large tongue. Oh, yeah. no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my, my special brother. The other one. Yeah, my brother with Down syndrome. He, yeah. uh. Uh, well, they, I mean, that's they, understandable. Yeah, they, they gave throat. Yeah, yeah, they gave him like the popsicle, and what happened was he he chewed it off the stick, mm. and when it when he chewed it off the stick, it went down his throat, and then he immediately was just like, Whoa, uh, like he couldn't get a, it out. Like what a fucking beast! Like just like you can just like chew off the entire popsicle and just have it in your mouth. Mm. Like your teeth don't hurt, your tongue's not going hurting or anything. Mm -hmm. You're just like, yum. Just like what power is that? <laughs> Jesus. That was my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Yeah. All right, this is more for, like, the, the younger generation. Mm. Uh, not really us, because we really don't. I mean, I can go without it. It's fine. Uh, nomophobia. 
Nomophobia? Nomophobia. Okay, that kind of makes me think of FOMO, like the fear of missing out, like not being a part of something. That can can be part of this. Mm. But think of like the younger crowd, a, f- a phobia, a fear that they all have. Uh. And it's just, it's a stupid fear to us. Hmm. Yeah. A stupid fear that the current generation, like yeah. they're actually scared of. Yeah, and it, and it. It ties in with that fear of missing out and everything. Oh, like the fear of, of people finding out you still have pubes. No. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm yeah, like a I'm like a wildebeest. Bro, these kids are all natural probably right now. Like they don't really? give a shit anymore. Do you yeah, think the that, newer generation doesn't? Our shave? generation was the one that was like, oh, you need to be clean and shaved, and like it makes you. Look, I guess you that know, is kind of true because remember- kids now are like more natural. Like they're going more to like the natural side of like medicines and foods and how they present themselves and everything like that. Yeah, I remember that always being a fucking thing. I know, like, nowadays, most girls don't give a shit whether or not, whether yeah. you're circumcised or not, too. Yeah. Some girls just stop. Because like, back in the day, oh, God, if you... Oh, if, yeah, when they found out you're uncircumcised? Yeah. yeah well, that shit hurt. Well, I, I never had to worry about that. but uh, I did. I know, yeah. but but again, I don't know how many times I got to bring up. But I got, I got, I had to get circumcised. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, my dick was too big for the skin. That banana was peeling itself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God, that's got to suck. It's like, <laughs> it's like a flower that you don't want to bloom. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much what it was. Yeah. But, no, I, I, I know, because um, I remember one time we were asking a friend whether or not he was circumcised, and he mm-hmm. didn't understand the concept of what circumcision was. Because he, 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 he just thought it was He normal. didn't know, yeah. and we were all there just like, Dude, there's no shame in it. Like, just, yeah. just, just show us your dick. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll tell you whether or not you're circumcised. And yeah. he was just like, I'm not showing you my dick. I was like, bro, we all have, we'll show you our dicks. It's fine. Like, it's okay. We'll touch the tips and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he wasn't for it. I was just like, bro, it's not gay. It's not like we're, we're, we're not telling you to perform a sexual act. You're, we're, we're genuinely curious whether or not you're circumcised your or not. Your over there is like, oh, we're not? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Got to... Calm it down. <laughs> he's like, bro, stop sucking your dick. He's getting, he's, it's catching on. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> no, but um, you could bend like Marilyn Manson. <laughs> no, but there, I'm, I think there was a genuine fear for some people. Is like they're being afraid yeah. of getting, of seeing like, because it's e- the norm here in the U.S. to get it done. What to get it shaved? Uh, I, I was going back on shaved. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. It is the normal with circumcision nowadays. Not so much. People yeah. don't really seem to give a shit. The older generation, like the the generation that, uh, like our generation, mm-hmm. millennials, some of them uh, do still like have that fear. But yeah. for most people nowadays, probably don't give a shit. I'm not gonna get my kids circumcised. Fuck no, that. Either. Just keep yeah. it clean. Which I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's gonna happen to them. What if their bananas are peeling themselves too? <laughs> they gotta get the same shit done. God damn. Yeah. This is the fucking circus at this point. What are we doing with all these extra skin? Making a jacket. I'm gonna make a purse. <laughs> make a little coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> Where I keep all my pocket change. They're all like little fleshy rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, what's, yeah. what's the fear? All right. Uh, the fear of being without your phone. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, I don't like, really it doesn't, like for us, it doesn't really matter because like if we forget our phone, I was like, ah, I'll just grab it later. Yeah. The only time I've ever been afraid of not having my phone on me is if I was going somewhere and I needed my phone in order in in, in case of an emergency, you know, yeah. like a good example would be like, imagine like, like oh. you, you tell your wife that, hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to go visit a friend real quick who lives mm-hmm. like about like an hour away. Yeah. Uh, I'll call you when I'm on my way home, and then you get there, and you're like, "Oh fuck, I didn't even have my phone with me." It, you, a little bit of a fear like yeah. comes in until you're obviously you're like, "Oh wait, I'll just use my friend's phone." Yeah. But if you don't know your significant other's number, then you that's know, when you kind you of know her number? yeah, I do know her okay, number. Yeah. I'm saying, but maybe like in a fresh relationship, you just you just uh, maybe that is a bit of a fear. You're not committing anything to memory because you don't know if it's going to be solid. Exactly. Yeah. Why would you memorize the your your girl's number if you just yeah. barely started dating her? That's just a creeper move. Mm-hmm. I already know it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my number. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, got I know it. it. I got. It. I was there. What? I'll yeah. pick you up at your house. I didn't give you my address. I know. <laughs> your room's on the second floor on the right. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep by the window. Sometimes you leave it cracked. <laughs> you should change your passwords. 
password one two three. Your grandma is a bitch. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) She got really personal in her life. If you want, I can fucking offer for you. If you want, (laughs) what? Like, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. All right. Next one. Plutophobia. Plutophobia. Yeah. Plutophobia. God. Now. I'll give you a hint. It's not the planet. Okay. Yeah. Now, when it when it comes to like the beginning of like this, uh, the beginning of these phobias, like mm-hmm. like when they named them, it, are these like are these like Latin words? Yes, I think they're root Latin words. Okay. Yeah. So. So Pluto. Uh, so Pluto, not to the planet. No. Is it like the fear of space? Maybe. Nope. I got a fucking fear of space, dog. What? Space scares the shit out of me sometimes. That's well, a lot, yeah, but I want to go to space. Anytime I watch a video where it does that whole, like, let's zoom out and see how small our universe is. Dude, I get instant anxiety yeah. almost every single time. No, bro, as soon as those aliens come down this year, they're going to come this year. Oh, I dude, fucking, yeah. they were touching down in Vegas not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. That one that was in that Mexican family's backyard. They're, did you see the video of them, like, fucking racking their guns and oh, shit? Oh, yeah, they all had guns yeah. in their hands. They were ready to, they were ready to fucking start smoke with yeah. them. <laughs> About to start an intergalactic war. <laughs> Fuck you, puto. <laughs> You're wearing the wrong colors, bro. <laughs> You're the illegal alien. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but Where's no. your fucking papers? <laughs> <laughs> You're on my fucking property, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fuck. <laughs> Saca la trucha. <laughs> <laughs> but no, fucking, yeah, like I hope they come down because I want to go to space. Mm. Yeah, but um, no. So, uh, but yeah, your fear of space. I don't know. Now I'm trying to think. It's like a fear of getting probed by aliens. No, that is a fear, though. It is. A lot of people have. Like, it. I meant, like I, a it, lot of white Republicans have that. Do you have a fear of aliens per se? It's a, aliens it's, come down. Huh. So because it's not pre- xenophobia, because that's just. That's that's uh that's Ill- just being fucking racist. Well, ze- xenophobia is like the fear of like immigrants, but al- aliens like outer space entities do not count as immigrants. I no. just don't think. I mean, do they or do they? I not? guess they would count as like. I, I think ex- they would be immigrants. Well, I thought they would be under like uh, extraterrestrials. Yeah, but they'd still be an immigrant to this country or for to this planet. I don't know because it, yeah. Fuck- these goddamn geopolitics Just taking our goddamn job, fucking goo backs. Yeah, because that's what happens. Like <laughs> aliens show up, and that's the first thing the Republicans are going to bitch about. Yeah. They're going to be like, "Well, these illegal space immigrants—they're trying to take our jobs. We need to build a wall in the sky, <laughs> space wall." And then Reagan wakes up. Did you say Star Wars? Because <laughs> that was his plan. What? His he had a plan called Star Wars, and what it was, he was going to build a, pretty much a fucking glass ball around the planet. <laughs> And it was supposed to be like satellites linking up to protect us. I'm trying to think space. he's not fucking dead. He's on a space station like fucking Nick Fury was through all of Avengers. Yeah, yeah. He's a scroll. Yeah. <laughs> God. A lot of people were pissed off about um, the Secret Invasion intro. I didn't even watch it. I didn't even know it was out. Oh, the, yeah. The new, the new, the, that season just started Secret Invasion. Mm-hmm. It's like, don't the, tell me about it then. Well, well, I'm not going to give away okay. the story, but people uh, are mad about the intro. Uh, cause it's AI generated. What? Yeah. Oh. It's clearly AI generated. You see it. It's, it's like, it's like one of those intros where everything is like morphing into something else. Oh. And I guess they wanted it to kind of give it like this, like, oh, well, you don't, yeah. it's, it's this whole spy thing. But nonetheless, the community of artists were like, how fucking dare you Marvel in the middle of well, all Disney. of what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Well, Marvel's the one that's under fire right now because right now they're under fire for that, but they're also in fire under fire because they're defending um, uh, Jonathan Mayer's, uh, the guy who's playing uh, Khan, because you know he apparently uh, oh, assaulted yeah, he, his girlfriend, yeah. and now uh, Denoch Huerta is under fire mm-hmm. because uh, uh, he allegedly is being accused of being uh, sexual, yeah. sexually abusing a famous Mexican saxophone I player. I want to see what goes on with that one because, like, he, I mean. Of course, we don't know the whole story or anything, of course, but he, like, immediately, I guess, put out a whole thing being like, hey, I'm going to be, you know, upfront with everything. We did date in the past. We did do things. Yeah, his his actual quote was simply not true. It's just, it's simply not true. Yeah. And then I think they found, they dug up some phone calls that Mm -hmm. they had between each other, and one of them, like, she was acting a bit erratic, like, she was, like, giving him a lot of shit about something. Yeah. 
and people think that maybe she did go down the jealous girlfriend route. But the thing is, it's too early to tell because yeah. like that doesn't really give any evidence whether or not he did actually abuse her or not. I really hope that it isn't true. Yeah, because like again, we don't have a lot of dark colored Hispanic like um yeah like um representation in media. And he was going to be the forefront for that, along mm-hmm. with a few other like Latino, like dark skin, like actors. Yeah. And it just sucks to see that again, w- Hispanic men are being labeled as you know overly masculine abusers that yeah. don't seem to give a shit. But I mean, in the end, it could be true. Yeah. Intermission. Woo. <laughs> End of intermission. But, um, all right, so no guesses on plutophobia? No. All right. Fear of money. What? The fear of money, which I feel is like what every rapper has. Because <laughs> all they're doing in their videos is just throwing away money. I guess that's true. Yeah. So are they just scared of it? Like, they're like, I gotta get rid of this. Ah! But is it the is it the fear of the concept of having too much money or just money in general? It's just the fear of wealth of m- just having money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're I just can, I guess you're just immediately spending what they have. I I, I can kind of see I can kind of understand that, but I kind of don't. Yeah, because it's mean, I feel like if you know yourself well, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter how much wealth you accumulate, you're not going to change as a person because yeah. you see it a lot. You see you'll see a lot of Famous actors, musicians, where they do gain a lot of monetary, like, you know, they gain a lot of money uh, through fame and mm-hmm. whatever, whatever they fucking did. And uh, they don't really change all that much from, like, who they originally yeah. were. But some people. Yeah, they go off the fucking deep end with that shit. Yeah. I mean, a great example would be, like, Floyd Mayweather. Like, he, money obviously changed him because now he's just a fucking, like,. He's that guy that's always trying to find uh, a way to get back in the spotlight, to yeah. fight some bullshit fight, to make more money, because he lives so lavishly. He's constantly spending money. Speaking of fights, did you see that, uh, what's his face? You know that boxer Butterbean? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's planning to come out of retirement because he wants to fight, uh, what's his face? Uh, 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 what's his name? It's one of those fucking YouTube guys that... Uh, oh, the Paul that, brothers? Yeah. He's like, going to fight the one guy that's always uh, doing the fights. Uh, that would be Jake. Yeah. Jake Paul. Logan Paul's... He's also been in a few fights, but he's like lost every single one. Yeah. Because... Uh, well, he wants to fuck up Jake Paul. Yeah. Well, right yeah. now, Jake Paul's... Um, he's going to be fighting uh, Nate Diaz. Shout out Nate Diaz Army. Nate Diaz, I fucking love that motherfucker, dude. Really? Yeah, because he's like, he's your Cali Latino, doesn't give a fuck, loves to talk shit. His his whole, his whole... Was that the guy that uh, when... Oh, no, that was... He's, he's the one that called out Conor McGregor to fight him. And then whenever uh, Conor McGregor had a fight fall through with one of the fighters calling out um, for, like, getting injured... Mm-hmm. Nate Diaz stepped in and he fucking choked him out. Mm. And then after oh, that, yeah. when they interviewed him, they're like, um, "Like Nate Diaz, you just shocked the world. What do you think?" And he's like, "I'm not surprised, motherfuckers." And then he just like flexes <laughs> and he's got <laughs> blood all over his fucking face. And yeah. on he fought Conor McGregor a second time. They had a they had a rematch. Yeah. And I still to this day think that Nate Diaz won that fight because it went to decision. Mm. But if you watch that final round, Nate Diaz was fucking him up bad. Mm. The thing was, Connor won round one and two. Uh, Nate got him back on the third. Uh, Connor came back in the fourth, but in the fifth fight, Nate was murdering him. Like he was fucking him up because the thing about Nate is the the, the thing that makes him such a cool fucking fighter is he has insane, insane endurance. So he just keeps coming at you. He yeah. doesn't stop swinging. He just keeps going. When he looks like he's like fucking dying or about to kill over, that's how he gets you. You think that he's tired, but he's not. He just keeps coming. Yeah. What was it? The other one that uh, he fought some guy in Brazil, and he beat the fuck the fucking brakes off the guy. And some Mexican guy, he beat the fuck out of the Brazilian. And uh, like in Spanish, he was like uh, fucking like. Brazilian shit and everything like that in the end. They uh-huh. all started booing him shit and throwing shit at the ring. Yeah, you, you should never do that. Yeah, and he got, had to get, like, <laughs> ran out of there because they were starting to, like, come after him. Uh, he beat the fucking brakes off the other guy. 
I don't know. Is it an older fight? No, it was more recent. I'm not sure, but yeah. I mean that is one thing you never do. Never piss off Brazilians in Brazil because you will get yeah. death threats and they will come after you. That's what happened to Chel Sonnen. Chel Sonnen, back when he was feuding with Anderson Silva, mm. he used to say all kinds of like shit about like he used to like say some really harsh shit about Brazil, and um, they told him uh, we're probably never going to be able to have you in Brazil again. Because people in Brazil hate you so much from all the shit talk that they yeah. literally are putting out death threats. <laughs> Damn. Don't piss off people in their own country. Like, yeah, that's true. Don't do that. Like, if, you, if you're having a fight, like, in Saudi Arabia, don't say shit about the Saudi Arabian people. Yeah. They will, they will kill you. They will kill you. And the U.S. will turn the fucking other cheek. They will not yeah. give a shit. They will let you get buried in sand. Mm-hmm. Be- they're not losing They'll that. They'll beat oil. you with a sock full of gold bricks. They're not losing that oil money. No, Fuck you. Not. All right. Well, next one. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, now. yeah. Optophobia. 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 Uh, scared of glasses. No. Okay. Scared of an optometrist. No. One more. Scared one of, more. Okay. Maybe the fear of octopuses. No. I am scared of octopuses. Why are you scared of octopuses, dude? They're creepy looking. That's they don't the do shit. Bruh, look at them. They look fucking creepy. They, they don't do shit. That is the head of a mind flare. Oh my god. I'm not going near that thing. They actually what is it? They said that um if like something happens to humanity and after like a couple million okay, like, let me, millennia, octopuses would be the next like sentient species on earth. Let me let me paint a picture for you. Thirteen year old you up at night alone on the internet and you see a Japanese woman shove an octopus up her pussy. No, we all saw that. You yeah. get scared of it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a pussy. Well, just imagine you take a fuck, you hook up with a nice, wholesome Japanese girl. You take her home, she pops that pussy open, and a fucking tentacle comes out. You're running out of there. No, you grab that tentacle, you pull that thing out of there, and then you have sushi later. It's not like it's cooked. You cook it Ugh. while it's boiling away. You just boil it in the waters of that pussy, boy. Yeah, there you go. Nah, get that salty flavor. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just scared of sea creatures. That's probably why, because they're like. Well I'm, not, well, I'm not scared of fish. Certain fish. Certain fish. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not necessarily terrified of sharks. I definitely wouldn't want to run into one. No, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I don't have, like, if I see a photo of a shark, I'm not going to be like, oh, a shark, you know? Yeah. But octopuses, like, when you're actually in front of an octopus, like, at a fucking, like, aquarium or shit, whatever. I think they're I'll, fucking cool. I think they're fucking weird. I'm just yeah. not going near that damn I wanna thing. I want to shake hands with one. Huh? I want to shake hands with one. Uh, but they got a beak. No, you don't shake the beak. You shake the... Tentacle. I know, but I don't want it to fucking like. What if it latches on you? Tries to pull you in and tries to bite your. Dude, I'm just saying. Fuck, fuck octopus. Bite, bite your what? Huh? Bite your what? Bite your fingers off oh, okay. or bite your hands off? Else. <laughs> no, I mean they're small. The beaks are tiny. I it's don't like know, a bird man. beak. I'm not going near no goddamn octopus. Oh. You can go fuck around with that damn thing all you want. No, the I ones I won't fuck around with are the ones that are in uh, in Mexico. Mm. Uh, the Humboldt squids. Mm. You ever seen those? Yeah, they're uh, they're big ass squids. Um, they change colors really fast, and when they come after you, every single one of the suckers have fucking claws on them. So when they grab you, they'll just fuck your shit up. You have to wear armor if you go scuba diving in that area. But did you ask me whether or not they were gonna what they were gonna bite off? Because you thought they were gonna bite my dick off or something. Well, you gestured down. No, I, I like, didn't. I, I, I did not gesture down. Like, why are you putting it in your crotch? Oh, yeah, area? I want this octopus to give me some mad brain. Look at its head. It's going to give me Dude, some mad no. brain. It was on fucking Facebook. It was like, it was one of those like meme pages, and they posted up like a random uh, uh, Reddit yeah. that someone did. And they were like, here's what you do you buy an octopus, you can remove its beak, and then you just start feeding it a liquid diet. And then afterwards, you take that liquid diet away. And you start putting your dick in there, and it just sucks you dry. <laughs> <laughs> and then it learns that that's how it like. That's how it survives. So it'll be hunting your dick in the middle of the night. You just wake up and just going at it on your dick. It's like, who the fuck wrote this? The same people that fucking wrote A Thousand Ways to Die. Oh, yeah. Remember, they they had that whole thing about, like, that guy trying to fuck, like, a cow's heart or something. You don't remember that? I don't. Yeah, there was, like, an episode where they were talking about a guy had died because he was... Putting jumper cables on a cow's heart to make it <laughs> to make it like pulse, and then he just electrocuted himself to death. I, yeah. <laughs> the other one I thought was funny was this guy. Apparently, he died because he he lost uh, too much blood flow mm-hmm. because he he strapped a sausage to his thigh 
because he was going to the club to make it look like oh, he had a big yeah. dick, and then he just like passes out. Yeah, because you shut that artery down. Yeah, and they couldn't find figure out what was wrong with him. They're just like, I guess there's too much blood in his dick. <laughs> Remove his dick. It's a kielbasa. <laughs> that show was so stupid. I loved it, dude. I wish they would bring it back. <laughs> Although, it I, it did have its moments of like, that's kind of sad. Did you ever see number one? No, which one was number that one? That one was sad. It was about this couple that both had heart conditions that had that died having sex. <laughs> they died happy, I guess. It's it, uh, apparently they had met mm. uh, through some kind of means of like through. Um, I guess like conventions or like mm. or, or community groups for people that had their disability. Yeah, they basically were born with very weak ha- hearts. Yeah, and they were they tr- they were desperately trying to have a child, but because their hearts can't yeah, like yeah. accelerate up to a certain point, it becomes really dangerous for them. Mm. And ultimately, they both ended up passing away attempting. That sucks. Yeah. Although the funny one is that one guy who used to boof beers to get drunk. Cause it's funny, cause it has her. It, the whole story was like he would make his wife like put uh, put a funnel up his ass yeah. and pour beers into his butthole, and it's just like he just gets alcohol poisoning. The image of the wife just being like, "Come on, you, you just, know this is bad for your, you. Use your top mouth." <laughs> <laughs> no, the one that I saw was funny. It wasn't like the. It was they do like the random little bits of like this is how someone saved someone's life, and it was the one of the guy he. For some reason, like his colon or like the shit in his body was just, just became toxic, like randomly. And he started like fucking dying because the, he was being poisoned. They took him to the hospital and then they realized, and they, the doctor came in and was like, this is the only way to save him. His buddy had the shit in a cup and they had to shove his poop into his friend's butt. What? And apparently that stabilizes the toxicity levels and he just poop everything out. What the fuck? Yeah, I was like, what? And I think it has something to do with, like, the good bacteria in your body. Well, wasn't that all a thing for a while, the whole fecal transplant thing? You remember that? Yeah. Where people were putting other people's poop off their own butts, and South Park made an episode about it where they were trying to get Tom Brady's shit because everybody wanted to be Tom Brady. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no, but it's just like, that show, uh, I fucking love that show. And then it showed the one guy, he was like uh he was a furry, and he went out into the woods, and the fucking hunter shot him. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, a wolf! <laughs> yeah, and he fucking just gunned his ass down. <laughs> All right. Um, what, what was the fear? Oh, yeah. Optophobia, fear of opening your eyes. What? Yes, yeah, so there's... Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just, just that scene from uh from uh Home Alone too when Harry gets electrocuted he's like ah! <laughs> why is that a fear it's just a that's fear. such a weird one I mean how often are you blinking your fucking eyes or is it just like the the fear of opening your eyes like when it's you a, wake up it's just a it, it's tied to anxiety. I mean, I have fucking anxiety. I'm not afraid of blink. I guess not that much anxiety. For you. <laughs> I guess I have to be grateful for my situation because <laughs> if I had the fear of opening my eyes, I couldn't be able to do anything. What oh, was that one? There was a TikTok of a guy. It was making fun. It was like, yeah, I have a phobia. And it's the phobia of uh, of screaming. And just thinking about it just makes me want to scream. <laughs> <laughs> he starts screaming and he's sitting there like, he's, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 oh god <laughs> <laughs> so stupid all right yeah. then this one you'll probably know it uh hippomonstrosis squib phobia. okay i know this one because i remember um yeah. this used to be like in one of those like little like fun fact mm-hmm. books in our old um uh, remember when they used to give us like school agendas yeah, remember yeah. school agendas used to have little fun facts in the corner of yeah. like every page i remember that one and it was a. Uh, it was like uh the the photo of it was pretty funny. It was just like a it was like a hippo staring at somebody mm-hmm. and somebody like running away from it. But it's not the fear of hippos. It's yeah. the fear of very long words, yep. right? Yeah. Which is funny because the asshole who made that <laughs> word. <laughs> but it, but again, this goes back to the whole thing where like the beginning part of the phobia thing. Like mm-hmm. this is fucking Latin. Yeah. So the Latin roots for very long words are actual very long words. Yeah. Well, it's 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 uh it's pieces of words. So hippo. Hippopo is, uh, or hippopoto, or hippo and poto are two different words, I think. Mm-hmm. 
monstro is a different word. Sesqui is a different word. And pedally, I think, is a different word. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's just like it, Latin's like broken fragments of everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But it just sucks because, like, it's a long word. So, <laughs> trying to explain to someone, my fear is, what's your fear? I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can't say long words. So the way you talk. you have this, I mean, it would just make more sense just to say that I I'm 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 scared of very long words. But, but how how, how does that apply? Length, yeah, what's the length of a word that makes it a long word? I guess that is true. I guess anything that is considered like like where do you draw the line in the length of word? Is length a long word? <laughs> like, can you not say restaurant? <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> I still love that old Bill. Spill restaurant, motherfucker. He's like, uh. He's like I will shoot your mom right now. Uh, mom. <laughs> well, let's go. What's the next one? All right. The next one. Uh, vestophobia. Vestophobia? Yep. Okay. So I'm assuming it's not the fear of vests. No. Okay. Well, it's, uh, it could be. Oh, is it like the fear of clothes? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's the fear of clothing. So you just fucking butt naked. You're uh you're uh what's it called? Uh an always nude or something like that. There's like forever or no nudes or some shit like that. Yeah. Or never nudes, that's what they call them. It's mm-hmm. like the m- Mormons that wear like the white cloth thing underneath their clothes. And they can never be naked. When in human history do you think people started like having to wear clothes? When the uh, first guy saw his grandma's titties dragging the ground. I guess that is true. <laughs> no, it, it, it it came from um, uh, just when we started becoming more, like, human. Mm. Because when people were still walking around, we were still closer to, like, monkeys and apes and stuff. We had more I mean, fur. Yeah, we had more fur. So once we started losing that fur, we started, you know, I should cover up because my dick's going to fall off because it's so fucking cold. I blame the Europeans with the whole shaving thing. Well, I mean, Native Americans are naturally not hairy on their bodies. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or you're just walking around like, let me see your body. <laughs> Where are you, Cherokee? <laughs> Let's just say I have a preferred category on certain websites. Native? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, weave that basket. Yeah. I'm about to give you my Thunderbird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were about to break out the fucking Cumbia Kings with that. We're profiting off our dead sister. Woo. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Just let her rest. Huh? Like it was cool. They released a song like recently. It's like uh, it's something she recorded when she was a lot younger. Mm-hmm. But they uh, use like computers and stuff to make it sound yeah. like how she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a great song. Um, that's fucked up. Yeah, just let her fucking rest, guys. Just release the original tape. Yeah, just... release it so that way people can reminisce about her being. A child, but no, like they young. literally waited till they had the technology to age it to try to profit off of it. Yeah, and I've heard that they have like a museum up for her stuff. Um, yeah, it's a Corpus Christi. <clears throat> yeah, like they, um, I know, mm. uh, they they have that museum there, and apparently, if you can run into Selena's father there, and he is just a fucking asshole. Like, oh yeah, he was a terrible father apparently. Yeah, I mean, I know they did like a little like Netflix series that kind of like painted him in a different light. Where they said that, like, yes, he was an asshole, but sometimes he wasn't. Like, but I'm, I'm, at the same time, it's like when you, when you, yeah, when you have a famous daughter, a famous, like, offspring, mm-hmm. and you know that you're just trying to profit off of them, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, you're just a piece of shit because obviously this was her dream, and you're using it to your advantage to just make as much money as possible. Yeah. Although I am glad that they didn't like Kim Kardashian wear her fucking uh, uh, dress. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, her unnaturally big ass is not going to fucking fit in that thing. Yeah. And that is unnatural. You can fucking. Yeah. If people who think it's real, shut the fuck up. Nothing about that family. I don't is think real. any. I don't even think people buy that anymore. Like the whole thing of like, oh, I'm going to fucking do an extra of my ass to show y'all it's real. I was like, no, yeah. we know there's no implants in there. You just stuffed it full of fat. Yeah. Like that's why it's lumpy. We know that's a procedure. Yeah. Like it's not. All you have to do is, if you ever got time, look up Kim Kardashian bikini in Mexico, mm-hmm. and that because 
they went to Mexico and they always bring their own paparazzi crew that do like photo shoots for them because they altered the fucking photos. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? In Mexico, they got caught wind of what resort they're staying at and they took photos that were unedited and posted them up. And you see that fucking, fucking ugly, disgusting, full diaper of an ass that she has. It literally looks like she's wearing a like a wet diaper. Yeah, it's like hanging loose and everything. It's it doesn't make weird. sense, but because I know I remember one time they were talking about this on, they were talking this on a episode of Rogan where they're like, "Look, look at Kim Kardashian's ass, and then look at Jennifer Lopez's ass. What's the difference? Look at the thigh to ass ratio. Mm-hmm. Jennifer Lopez has big, thick thighs to go into a big ass." Kim Kardashian has little tiny thighs that go into well, I mean, a J-Lo fat. Well, has a fake butt. Huh? J-Lo has a fake butt. Uh, it's not. She has implants. Does she? Yeah. I don't know if I'm that's true. I'm pretty sure she does. I don't think she does. I, don't I mean, think. look it up. I don't want to. Come on. Nah. You, you don't want Jennifer Lopez ass on your... On no, your... I don't care. Let's just I'm, But I'm almost positive it's not fake. Okay, Google. <laughs> does J-Lo have a fake butt? Mm, suspicious bro she's got latina jeans she's not gonna need a fucking like surgery to make that ass big all she's gotta eat is eat a you know a fucking couple of cuban sandwiches and she's good (laughs) (laughs) well she's puerto rican is she yeah so plantains okay plantains 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 okay moving on Uh, (laughs) all right next one uh, isop- isotrophobia. Isotrophobia. Isotrophobia? Yeah. Damn. The fear of ISIS. No. No. That's just being racist. <laughs> I'm kidding. How's that being racist? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> Who the fuck wouldn't be scared of ISIS? America. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's the fear of mirrors. The fear of mirrors? Yeah. Okay. Which, I mean, like, I'm kind of like wondering if is it is it just the fear of an actual mirror, or is it just like reflections? Because you can see your reflection on a bunch of shit. I, the concept of looking into a mirror is kind of weird if you think about it. Because technically, before mirrors were a thing, most people didn't know what they looked like. Yeah, I mean, they'll see their reflection in like water or like. Uh, yeah, but even then, you shit. weren't ever getting like a clear, a clear view. Picture, yeah. yeah. But um, I think before, what was it? They would look at themselves, like the Aztecs and the Mayans would have a, a plates of obsidian. Mm-hmm. And they would look at themselves, which is crazy because you're just looking at yourself in like a really dark mirror. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's where the whole like, like, you know, like uh, to summon the devil and shit like that and like Catholicism and everything. Yeah. You need a blackened mirror. I Maybe. wonder if that's where it came from. Well, I don't know, because I know, didn't a lot of native tribes uh, hate the idea of photos because they thought it was like stealing your soul? Oh, yeah, they hated it. Yeah, so yeah. they so maybe it's one of those things. Maybe maybe in some cultures it was frowned upon to look at your own reflection because it was like, it's almost like you're seeing yourself through a veil of a different reality, you yeah. know? Because there's always been that theory of like, you know, like our realm is stacked against other realms, you know? There's our realm and the ghost realm or the, or the spirit, spirit realm, you want to yeah. call it. And then also, like, interdimensional beings and shit. Because for the most part, after that whole alien debriefing thing, they said, like, they believe that most extraterrestrials that we've experienced are probably interdimensional and yeah. not actually from close-by galaxies. Because mm-hmm. it makes the most sense that they would travel through, um, like, interdimensionally as opposed to trying to travel through the vacuum of space because that's just almost fucking... That would take way fucking longer yeah. than just breaking up. Uh, Unless they did something alien wise. I know, uh, but it's interesting. That whole we need to talk about that fucking alien debriefing thing. That shit kept me up for a couple of days. I was I was going through the documents. I was I mean uh, at least through all the videos. Like the get the red string out. Oh dude, I was putting shit together. I was tripping. I was going to work like with like an hour of sleep. Like dude, they're <laughs> fucking here. I knew it. They confirmed seventy nine different races, and they're not hostile. What the fuck? They've been reverse engineering this shit since the nineteen thirties. Well, yeah, that's what you mean. They're in cell phones. They're in FDR and everything, man. They 
Like, that's how they split the fucking atom, bro. Like, that's how they've been doing this shit from the beginning. I've listened to that last podcast about it. Yeah. It's super inter- It's funny as shit. It's fucking crazy, dog. Yeah. Like, I can't even... Like, this is where we got VHS. <laughs> <laughs> this is where porn came from. <laughs> it's also funny to think that, like, uh, they believe that the reason why our technology hasn't advanced to the point of the shit that they've discovered Mm -hmm. is because a lot of it um, is radioactive and it it gets people sick, right? There's only so much reverse engineering you can do before everyone just drops from fucking getting cancer. Um, But that is interesting that people were like... (laughs) It's just... It's funny to think of somebody being like, we finally figured out how to print photos on the fruit roll-ups and they just die of cancer. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I did it. My life's work. <laughs> no, but no. Listening to that, uh, the, the secret is edible ink. <laughs> it's highly poisonous. <laughs> How's it edible then? It just tastes good. <laughs> but no, like, uh, like they're going through the Manhattan Project and everything like that because mm-hmm. that Oppenheimer movie is coming out. I don't want to watch it. So, um, what you're not gonna go watch watch Barbie? That too. Those two movies are coming out on IMAX. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> but no, because like, like looking at the history, um, I mean, they said a fun fact about the whole thing. They didn't know if the atom bomb was gonna work the way they wanted it to, or if it was just gonna ignite the entire atmosphere. Oh shit! So they, it was a fucking like flip of the coin if it was just gonna explode or kill everyone on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. I always think back of those fucking, like, um, I forgot what they were called, but there was, like, those experiments they did with sailors where they had them out on boats as they set, detonated the bombs. Oh, yeah. To and see they, if they could see their fucking skeletons through their hands and shit. Yeah, they said that they were they were doing it to see if they could survive, and almost all of them died of cancer. Mm-hmm. They said the ones that didn't survive, the ones that who did survive did develop cancer, but, you know, obviously they survived after mm-hmm. the fact, but they said that it fucked them up yeah. because they saw all the people they that were with them at war just fucking start dying one at yeah. one for one. And I'm guessing it really depended where the fuck you were on that boat. Because mm-hmm. if you're under, uh, below deck, all that metal will probably protect you. And those fucking interviews that they did with those old soldiers, they're fucking haunting mm-hmm. to think that, like, yeah, our the U.S. government at one point was... Using, using their guinea pigs, they're using their own soldiers yeah. as guinea pigs. All right, I got another one for you. Zemophobia. Hmm? Zemiphobia. 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 Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's Snoop Dogg doing a, a mumble rap no. cadence. Have you seen that clip? <laughs> he's, over, he's talking like how Snoop Dogg does, like, yeah, man, these young motherfuckers coming up in here, all of them the same damn song, man, being hip it dip it dip it dip dip it dip it dip it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the tremolo style. Mm-hmm. Which actually, I actually found out that that style of rapping actually originated in the 90s. The first rapper that ever did it, he did it in like a couple of songs, yeah. but it didn't catch on until way later whenever the Migos popularized it. It's just the mumbling, though. That's yeah. the thing that gets me. It's just like stop. Just well, say for, the words. Dude. Well, I never, I never really considered it mumbling as much as I saw it as them breaking it down by syllable. That's kind of like what Buster Rhymes used to do. But no, but his is actually you. You can hear what he's saying though. Yeah, I'm talking about the guys who are like just like fucking loaded up on like a fucking purple drink. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, I don't know what uh, 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 Yeah, uh, you, can, uh, you can blame yeah. Future for that because uh, Future even said, like, in interviews, and he's like, yeah, a lot of times when I recorded, I was super fucking high. Yeah. Because uh, he said, like, um, he doesn't even remember recording half the shit that he did because he was Jesus. just so fucked up. And, I mean, that's just the lifestyle of some people in the music industry, dog. Like, they just like to get fucked up. And I get it. I mean, if you had a lot of money... And you just bored all the fucking time. You're probably just gonna smoke a bunch of fucking weed and do recreational drugs. I mean, I, yeah, I'd smoke the weed, but I mean, invest, do something with the money, do what Shaq did, <laughs> Waka become Flocka. Papa John. You ever seen the videos of Waka Flocka? Mm-mm. Well, he invested a lot in the c- community, didn't he, or something like that? Yes, but yeah. also he is like one of those guys that was like, after he dropped his like first album that blew him up, he mm-hmm. was just like. Yeah, fuck the rap game. This is kind of lame. Yeah. Because he's like, I don't like the way how people treat me. 
Because it's 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 that reality of like I want to be famous, and then you become famous, and then they're just like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. I can't go to the grocery store. Like this is fucking bullshit, mm-hmm. you know. And then he just said that all he did was he invested his money into like you know uh, different like financial portfolios. Yeah. He said he put all his money into an HSA, and then he borrows from that, so that way it builds up more um, mm-hmm. it builds up more money through time. And he was explaining this on road, road rodeo shows. He's like, dude, like as soon as I figured out how people actually make real money, I was like, why the fuck do I need to rap anymore? Yeah. He's like, I sold all my chains. I got rid of all because jewelry doesn't recruit like it doesn't recruit value like you think it does. Majority of the time you're paying more money than what the thing is actually fucking worth because diamonds are worthless. They're they're realistically worthless. That's why I invest in gold. All right. (laughs) No, no, no. It's it's a hedge against hyperinflation. Okay. Well, all metals are. Silver, especially silver. Silver is good. And silver is actually pretty affordable, too. I don't own a lot of silver, though. I own a little bit of gold. Just here and there. Yeah. Just in case we ever got to melt it melted down if the uh, was it the fallout happens. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's, you just need bottle caps. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> or a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works, too. Yeah. Well, the South is going to thrive. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're going to be the next empire. Uh, we better stock up when we can. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a battle between the South and all the cartels. <laughs> Although I would like to own one of those DeWalt guns that shoots nails. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty dope. Because yeah. that way, I mean, you, you, you have a better chance of finding a high supply of nails than you do bullets. Yeah. All right. Zemiphobia. Uh, fear of a great mole rat. A great mole rat? Yeah. You're just scared of a great mole rat. Yeah. My other guess for that was the scare of confident Indian men. Bro, I've been getting a lot of those videos. On <laughs> my like life, Facebook. my rules, yeah. my attitude. <laughs> no, I'm getting all the the food vendor guys. Yeah. First of all, their food is fucking disgusting. <laughs> like the way they're making it, and their hands are all fucking dirty, and then everything's dirty. Like nothing is clean. Ugh. And then this one, he's like this skinny motherfucker, and he dresses all like in like a polo and he has like a little gold chain that's probably fucking plate mm-hmm. um he has like these wrap around sunglasses he has this like emo style haircut and then he's literally just pouring milk into like a, a big boiling pot of for tea <laughs> and he's like he's doing all like the flourishing of you know he grabs the bag makes a little nick puts it in holds it over his head so it pours over and like it's fucking splattering everywhere and then he like <coughs> he's just an asshole too like he'll be like, what? What do you want? What do you want? Come here, come here. Here's mm-hmm. your drink. Give me your money. He'll snatch it out of your hand and shit. Doesn't even give you change. Well, over there, it's like it's hyper competitive, and that's your source of survival, dog. So a lot of times they're fucking Man, dickheads. Fuck them, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I, one of my favorite videos that I have found because of how fucking disgusting it is. It's like a dude. He's got like a big hot plate in front of him, and it's obviously mm-hmm. like a, a like a rigged the, up one that he made. The Chinese guy. No, it was an Indian dude. Oh, and he okay. was he was standing on top of it, uh, where or his feet were near the grill, and he had one toenail that was really sharp, and he's cutting the meat with yeah. his toenail. <laughs> you seen that video? Yeah, it's, it's so, so weird. <laughs> no, the one I'm thinking of is on TikTok. I, I hope he comes up on my feed now that we're talking about him. <laughs> but he just like, he just puts random shit in the thing to cook, and he just starts eating. Like once he he grabbed like a stomach, and it's just full of like chewed up food and like fucking shit and everything Mm -hmm. and he strains all that out and then just makes like a soup out of it yeah and he's eating it and it's just like oh dude come on i just always think about yeah is it the same guy that just takes like fucking raw sewage and then he like burns it down into dust and then he turns that dust into some fucking obscure meal that yeah but he's just eating he's eating poop yeah he's eating the poop -poop. yeah but it doesn't make any fucking sense my favorite, yeah. my favorite videos is um, uh, that one of that uh, Chinese girl that aggressively like rips open a melon. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> yeah. She's just fucking destroying the shit yeah. out of it. Or the I get a lot of the like I started seeing the ones because uh, my mom loves watching this bitch on uh, on YouTube. Sometimes she'll just pull it up and start watching it. It's just like tiny little Asian lady, and she eats like an entire table's worth of food. Like nothing. And she's just sitting there like, oh, I need more. I want more. And she's stick thin. 
what the fuck? Yeah, and she's just eating, like, literally this table. For a second, I was like, is your mom's, I was about to say, is your mom's ascribed to Nakata Avocado? I don't know who that is. He's like that fat guy with the red shirt that's always crying and shit. No. He he does the giant mukbangs. It's the second time I've knocked that down. (laughs) No, not that. It's just some little Asian lady. I'll try to find her, and I'll send you a link to it later. But, uh, yeah, just she's just, like, watching, and my mom's like, I just don't know where the fuck she puts all that food. Like, (laughs) Like, is she just shitting at the same time? Well, a lot of competitive eaters are really small women. Yeah. They just know how to, like, they learn how to stretch out their stomachs. But the thing is, from my understanding, is whenever they do those, they go, like, a couple of days without eating. That's ridiculous. Uh, because uh, they, they do that, or a lot of times they, the opposite, they'll throw all of it back yeah. up. Which I think is the more logical thing to do, because you're consuming, like, four days worth of calories. Yeah. But even like that, if they're doing that, just throwing it all up in the end, I'm like, that's just a waste. You know, one thing I was thinking about the other day, it really pisses me off to think about like uh, coming from our family. Our family has a lot of pre diabetic, a lot of pre diabetics, right? Mm-hmm. You, yeah. al- you already being diabetic, right? Actually, but, no. I went to the doctor last week. Back down to pre diabetic. Really? Woo! That's that's awesome. Yeah. No, but it's just the idea of like, bro, there is people. There are people out there in the world that make it on to my 600-pound life that aren't diabetic, but if we are slightly yeah. out of shape, we can get diabetes way quicker. I don't understand how they quicker. don't have diabetes. Huh? I don't understand how they don't all have diabetes. It doesn't make sense to me, yeah. but it's just because we have this like predisposed like, yeah. like thing where, oh, we're... 10 to 20 times more likely to be diabetic as opposed to the normal person. Yep. So us just having a semi shitty diet is enough to yeah. push us over that limit. So we have to keep ourselves relatively healthy, like mm-hmm. enough exercise, enough of eating a semi balanced diet and we should be good. But the thing is, if we just go a little bit off the rails, diabetes right there. Yep. That's such a bullshit fucking Yeah, thing. I was surprised I skated along so f- long without getting diabetes. I'm surprised that you didn't that, that you did, weren't closer to being diabetic when you were at your biggest. Yeah, I know. That was crazy, too. That, that didn't make sense to me, either. Well, at the same time, maybe I was. Like, I didn't start going back to the doctor until, like, I moved back here. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, how when you were at your biggest, did you... Like, did you struggle with like feeling tired and lethargic? Oh no, all the I was time? tired all the time, but it was because I was just fucking fat. Yeah, and like, how quickly, it was a struggle to breathe. That how, was a thing. How quickly did it? How quickly did you feel your body change in energy when you started like getting fit? Uh, as soon as I lost, like, because at my biggest I was three seventy five. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I got down to three thirty or three forty, mm-hmm. like. Just so much more energy. Yeah. I just felt better. Like, I could breathe. For one, that was, like, the biggest one. I could fucking breathe. Yeah. Because before, when I would wake up, I would wake up, like, my mouth is a little, like, blue around because I couldn't fucking breathe. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. So. That's how much, I mean, it's just that little bit of a difference can mm-hmm. go a long way. What is the phobia of being fat? Uh, it's on here, actually. I'll find it in a second. Uh, while you're doing I'm guessing that, it's not fat phobic, is no. it? It's, it's called like li- lipophobia, I think, or something like that. Hold on, it's somewhere around here. What was the one we were just talking about? We got we went on a little bit off topic. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll find the fat one later. Xemophobia. Xemophobia. That was, was what? Uh, the the fear of the great mole rat. The great mole rat. Yeah, well, that, apparently it, that's a thing. Is that like a specific type of species? I guess. You know what I've been noticing a lot lately? I've been seeing a lot of roadkill of armadillos around here. There's one right there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw it. Th- that motherfucker's been out there for like a, for like almost a week. God damn, it's still not, I'm surprised it hasn't been pecked. Well, it's away. all it's all bloated, if you notice. He's, but, he, but he's but all again, chunky. I'm surprised the, uh, the, the vultures haven't been pecked to water. Well, I didn't think armadillos came out this far. No, armadillos are over here. Really? I always thought they were more on the countryside. I don't consider this countryside, but I guess it is. Yeah, this is a country road. Okay. Yeah, it's well, a country it's... highway. Yeah. Or state highway. Okay. Uh, this one's for you. Thalassophobia. Thalassophobia? Yeah. The fear of long eyelashes. No. No. The la- Thalassophobia. Yeah. Thalassophobia. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the fear of ocean or deep Open water. Yep, that's me. That's yeah, you, buddy. hundred uh, percent. This one's funny. Panther, pantherophobia. Panther. The, the fear of the Thundercats. No. 
Oh. That's Panthera. Oh. This is Panthera. Close, en- close enough. Yeah, it was. Close enough. Oh, okay. Um, Fear of Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, guess. Do, 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 do. Uh, damn it. Do, I'd, do, 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 the fear do, do, of do, do, do. putting on your pants on backwards. Wrong. It is the fear of your mother-in-law. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. So apparently, if you're such a bitch, you're scared of your mother-in-law. There's there's Latin for mother-in-law. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's uh well, it's like root words that can that form that. Okay. What it is now. It probably doesn't directly translate to mother-in-law, but it probably translates to like mother of dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dumb bitch phobia. <laughs> but yeah, that's that one. Uh, and then there's gamma phobia, the fear of marriage, relationships, commitment in general. I thought it was the fear of hulking out. Uh, gamma phobia. The gamma's in me, bro. <laughs> uh, My dick is so green. <laughs> how big do you think his hog was? Dude, pretty big. Yeah. Remember the Hulk movie whenever his like underwear rips yeah. after he fights the fucking dogs? And she's just like, God damn. Yeah. And then she stays with him. No, she's like, I can take it. I can. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was like average like it, it it was just like the guy like uh, you know bruce banner he has like yeah. you know an okay dick uh but then when he gets turns with hulk he only gains like an inch so she's like it could work you know i've never liked any of the the the, the picks they've picked so far for um bruce banner and all the uh, hulk iterations like the the one from the hulk movie which was terrible i didn't like him I didn't like Edward Norton. I don't like Mark Ruffalo. You didn't like it. I liked Edward Norton actually for for Bruce Banner. I just thought he was way too small. And uh, that's the that's what it was. I, he's supposed to be average. That motherfucker is way too small. Who? Huh? Like Bruce Banner? Yeah, Edward Norton. Yeah. No, Bruce Banner is a scrawny motherfucker. Like in the mm. comics. Okay. Like well, he's like a little skinny, like nerdy motherfucker. You're telling me little tiny Jewish Edward Norton turned into big hulking mad? Yeah. Because that's the power. <laughs> that's not kosher. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we're out of gefilte fish? <laughs> I asked for an everything bagel. <laughs> but no, yeah, like, um, yeah, I like We're this. not anti Semitic, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're not? <laughs> yeah, chill out, Kanye. Yeah. No, but yeah, uh, this one's for you. Uh, caprastophobia, caprasta so caprastophobia. Okay, per, uh, the fear of not, ha- the fear of running out of Capri Suns. No, that's a different one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more. This is called my everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Come on. I, I just had an image of you at home, like, God damn it, Hannah! I told you to get the big pouch. <laughs> Those didn't taste as good. Huh? I remember those not tasting as good. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a big pouch. Yeah, they sold them for a while. I remember I would get them at uh, like whenever like I went to a friend's house and they mm-hmm. had them. This is the only time I really ever got. You them. think they, like they were like less concentrated? Yeah. So they were more watered down. Yeah. Hmm. Did they, did they not come in like the classic flavors? Did they come in they, their own? They fl- came in the classic flavors and they were in a bigger pouch, but it tasted different. So you, the taste comes from drinking it through the little straw. Yeah. No, it still had the little straw. Oh, I still had a little straw. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, like, it was just a different flavor. Do you think it was just overload? Like, as far as, like, you're getting way more Capri Sun than you thought, so it's not as enjoyable? No, I think it was the first thing you said. It was just watered down. But then again, I used to be a fat ass. I used to get, like, three Capri Suns at once. I was like... Yeah, instead of just pouring them into a glass, I just had three separate... I had one and two on standby. I remember I used to freeze them. Really? Yeah, and then you cut the top up and eat it like a popsicle. Oh, dude, back in the early days when you didn't have money for, like, anything, I remember the the go-to was getting Ziploc baggies and filling them full of Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I used to I used to put them in the fridge, and when they yeah. were they freeze over, I crushed them down, and I'd eat it like a like a like a snow cone. Oh yeah 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 yeah. That yeah. shit was the that shit was awesome. Or sometimes I remember this one lady up the road. She used to sell like um like the popsicles in a bag, right? Yeah yeah. yeah. Like she made her own popsicle mix, and mm-hmm. then she'd freeze them in the bag. You buy them, and you just rip the plastic off, and you you know yeah, you, yeah. you suck on it like a sucker. Yeah. And I uh, but uh. I could never replicate the. I could never replicate this at home because, like, I don't know what. I guess he just pounded them full of sugar or syrup. Oh yeah. Um, because I remember like whenever um, 
I used to love getting Mexican snow cones when they come with that big block of ice and they're mm. just scraping. That and shit was so hot. That, that, that ice, the flakes are hitting you. You're like, oh, it's so nice and cool. I had to do that one time for a birthday party. Oh, really? Yeah, for one of my nephew's birthday party, they got like a big block of ice and um, uh, uh, my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law's father-in-law, yeah. oh no, my brother-in-law's father, he made me do it. He's just like, <laughs> you can do this. I'm like, God damn it. So I'm there with a little scraper like, uh, uh, yeah. this is fucking hard. Like, yeah. Because uh, especially once it started getting hot because that ice cube started rolling around. I was like, mm-hmm. oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you shave a fucking kid's head. <laughs> well, you need a haircut anyways. This one's got a little skin on it. <laughs> I never like, It's I not remember, blood, it's cherry. What flavor was tiger blood? What flavor was tiger? What are you talking about? There's a flavor called tiger blood. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't think I remember Tiger Blood as a flavor. No, it was a flavor. I from think it from was where? From everywhere. Like, everywhere here that used to sell them. I remember there used to be a, a, a snow cone place, like, where the first floor of the Jalisco was. Mm-hmm. And they would sell them there, and they, they had Tiger Blood. Hmm. Yeah. I remember Priscilla, my sister, she would get them. And yeah. I think it was, like, Black Cherry, maybe? I don't know, man. Yeah. I, 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 oh, I honestly don't think I've ever had one. Yeah. I kind of want to find it and try it. At least I never heard them refer to as Tiger's Blood. Yeah. Like, I, I really don't know. Because it literally looked like fucking blood in a, in a fucking bottle. I mean, I remember them, like, like the the guys used to come down on the cars, like the yeah. Mexican dudes, and they had, like, the big old bottles of the syrups and yeah, shit, yeah. right? But I don't ever remember them saying, like, Tiger Blood. I just, I, I remember when it came down to it, you just ask them what colors you wanted. They're like, you want one color, two colors, three colors? I'll be yeah. like, let me get the red, the blue, and the green. Mix that shit together. Make a purple. <laughs> Oh, God, I love that when they had a, it was like the real OG Mexican ones, mm. and they had like a limonada, uh, so they would pour that shit in there. Mm-hmm. Woo! You just let that shit melt down, you have a slushy. Oh, no, it's become a food podcast again. No, no, seriously. God <laughs> damn. You get a call from your doctor right now. <laughs> oh, I'm diabetic again. Actually, I have a new doctor now. Oh, do my you? doctor, um, so the, the hospital I'm going to is one of those teaching hospitals, so he finally like like finished up his, like, gra- uh, he graduated or whatever the fuck he did. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's moving on to bigger and better things. And I was like, he was a great doctor. He was a good guy. Um, and now I have a different doctor. And I'm excited to meet him because his last name's Tran. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. I want to hear what he sounds like. Like, it's, is, I guess it's slightly racist to me, but I just kind of, I kind of hope he has a really thick, like, Asian accent. <laughs> but I hope he's, like, brutally honest. He's like, why are you still fat? <laughs> I remember, yeah. I remember hearing this one thing. It's like, you know what the biggest insult nowadays is? Is someone being like, oh, you're definitely a them. <laughs> what? Yeah. Because, um, you know, the whole pronoun thing. So oh. like, but they're saying, like, I'm going to refer. It's like, you're not a he or a she. You're a them because you're so fucking fat. You count as two people. <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> that's funny. That that's a them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. Back to the thing. Caprastasophobia. It's the fear of being constipated. I have no fear of that. That's just everyday life, dog. Yeah, no. But imagine if you're scared of that. You can't shit. You're just sitting on the toilet yeah. and just screaming. I've actually noticed lately that that it, I, I'm either I'm either one or the two. I'm either constipated or have diarrhea. It's never an in between. I don't think I've had a normal shit since I was twelve. Uh, dextrophobia. Dextrophobia. Yeah. Um, is the fear of being left-handed? No, it's the fear of having objects on the right. Oh, yeah. so you're? I'd be afraid of this fucking cup being here. That's an odd one. Yeah, and there's a one for left. I forget. I it's further down, but I can't remember where it's at. Uh, banana phobia. Banana phobia. Yeah. Something tells me that it's not related to being scared of bananas. No, it is. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no Latin for banana, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's funny. Going back on the last one, being mm-hmm. scared of things on your right, that always reminds me of this old show where they used to be like, uh, they used to try to help people conquer their phobias and stuff. And it was, honestly, it was kind of bad. That show was really, I, it used to be, I think it used to be on Spike TV. or it, I just remember it used to come on, like after my strange addiction, I don't remember what the fuck it was mm-hmm. called, but I remember there was this one episode where this lady was scared of taking left turns, 
because um okay yeah so whenever she would drive anywhere she would have to map out how to get there only taking right turns so it would take her fucking forever yeah, to really. ever to get anywhere she needed to go and um apparently this stemmed from her getting into a car accident when she was younger where she made a left turn and she got hit by a car oh. so now whenever she uh <laughs> Whenever she makes, uh, whenever she tries to drive, she can only do right turns. But I remember in that episode, what they did to try to help her is they try to make an obstacle course for her. Mm -hmm. And what they did is they put fake baby dolls in the road, and they're like, "No, nope, you can't turn right. You're gonna hit this baby." And then whenever she would start turning right, they would start throwing baby dolls. Like you're killing babies. <laughs> like, I was like, "This isn't helping at all. This yeah. is just traumatizing her more." They should have just wrecked her on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Just cancel it out. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't drive any direction. <laughs> but uh, um, this one brings back a memory. When you hear it, you'll probably remember it too. Uh, it's an old TV memory. Uh, Sindonglophobia. Sindonglophobia. Sin Sin Sindonglophobia. Sindon uh, fuck. Was it the fear of Sinbad? No. <laughs> Sinbad the comedian? <laughs> no. This is the fear of cotton balls. Now, I don't know if you remember, but you remember that show Mari? Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, people, yeah, yeah, every, you're not the father and all yeah, this other yeah, shit. Yeah. But he also had random episodes where he just did random shit. Mm -hmm. One of the episodes was Face Your Phobias. A lady went on there and she was terrified of cotton balls. Like, like fucking freaked out whenever she saw one. Mm -hmm. So what they decided to do is they made a guy come out wearing a suit of cotton balls. <laughs> <laughs> and he came out of the corner creeping out as she just runs away screaming. Ah! Oh just my God. Runs into the back. The camera guy follows and he's following behind her too, just chasing her down. <laughs> so it's just, also, that had to be really hot, too, because it's just a bunch of cotton balls on you. And it's just trapping heat. So he's probably running, huffing, and puffing, too. But, yeah, when That's, I saw that, I started cracking up because I just remember that episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> the only thing I can think about about cotton balls is um, I remember um, <laughs> one of my nephews, um, when he was really young, like not even, like, two years old, he was, like, barely, like, learning how to, like, like walk and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was probably like three at the time, right? Um, he had this um, weird habit of a uh, he would pull the stuffing out of couch cushions, mm -hmm. right, and then he would put it up his butt. Like he used to like what? The, he, yeah, he used to take the he used to take like all the fluff out of pillows, and then as he would go about his day, he'd take it out and he just put it up his butt. Like in the hole? Well, I mean, I guess in the cheeks. Okay. I don't think he physically put it up his ass, but okay. he just put like he just stuffed his butt cheeks full of fluff. I guess he thought it felt good. I mean, he's it's a little kid, dog. So I'm I I I I, I never met a kid that would I was actually into that. Did like, anyone call the cops? Was this kid getting like molested? And he was like, you know, trying to cover up or like. No, he just thought it was funny. Okay. Because every time he got caught, he'd be like, uh. It, you just see cotton fall on his ass and he run away. It's like one of those games when you have to like, there's like a lot of games. Like remember Spyro? There was that little guy with the, with the, uh, he had like a, like a little sack and then you had to chase him down. And when you hit him, he dropped like an egg or some. Oh yeah. Some stuff. I was always confused on what the fuck that was. Was that like a little alien guy or was it a guy like wearing a big turban? He was wearing a big turban and just going, nee, 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 nee. That's racist. Yeah. Um, but you have to hit him to get a dragon egg or whatever the fuck he has in the bag. I think it was an emerald, wasn't it? Wasn't it yeah, sometimes it was an emerald. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I just imagine uh, that boy with the cotton running around, and then when you hit him, the cotton just flies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those levels being hard, dude. Yeah, dude. You had to, like, get, like, like you had, you had to, to get, like, perfect. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. you had to learn the path in perfect, like, precision. Because I remember it took me a minute to beat the final boss of the first mm -hmm. Spyro game. Whenever you get to the final boss, uh, Ganasty Gnork. Mm hmm um, the fact that I remember that, but I remember Gymnastic Nords. Cause, yeah, because they said the name so constant in that yeah. fucking um, uh, game. I never played the remakes. I need to play the remakes again. I have the remakes. Yeah, I need to play them because uh, I just never got around to doing it. Yeah, and right now all I've been playing is Tears of the Kingdom, so I need to 
eventually find something once I'm done with it. So yeah. I'm getting pretty close. Uh, this one, I don't understand how this fear would work. I don't know what you would do. Like, do you just fucking kill yourself afterwards or once you get it? Uh, Barophobia. Barophobia. B A R O. Barrow? Barophobia. B A R O phobia. Okay. Uh, Barophobia. I don't. Is that. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> That's my wife sneezing in the other room. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been saying this for years, and I know if she hears this part, she's going to be like, there he goes again. But I, the only pet peeve I have of my wife is when she sneezes, mm-hmm. she does it at, like, the top of her lungs. Oh, yeah. She can't not, not sneeze quietly. <laughs> she can't cover her mouth or, well, she does cover her mouth, oh, but okay. she's still, like, she doesn't cover no, her mouth. Like, she covers her mouth, but she's, she's still like, <clears throat> Everyone must know. She sounds like Link from Ocarina of Time. Like every time, yeah. He, yeah whenever yeah. he's like skipping around. Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> your next cosplay. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, all right. The fear of gravity. What the fuck do you do? <laughs> <laughs> that always makes me think back of that clip from that podcast, uh, Frenemies. Do you remember the Frenemies? It was that podcast that Ethan Klein from H Street Podcast did with that girl Trisha Paytas. That really like, oh, that weird looking girl. Yeah, yeah. she was like, uh, she was like an influencer model kind of girl, yeah. and she was like, you know, we don't need gravity, right? Oh and he, yeah, and he was like, like what? what? And he was yeah. like, well, yeah, like they they should have never invented it. I was like, ah. like those conversations were so goddamn. Yeah, that's ridiculous. They were I, so off the had, fucking some wall. Some of them had to be scripted. No, no, she's just that person. Oh, well. she, she's like, I don't want to make fun of people for not knowing things or not knowing that saying certain things is like, okay, that's kind of a dumb thing for you to say. But some people just are on that spectrum of intelligence. Yeah. And that isn't me like bashing anybody who actually does have like a m- mental or neurological disability. You know, some people are just not there like. When it comes to knowing, yeah, just knowing basic information, yeah, you know, all right, phagophobia. That was really close to being something that I had to bleep. Yeah, I know. It's not. <laughs> There's another word for that. P H A G O phobia. Phagophobia. Okay, the fear of the fear of phago sodas. <laughs> the fear Magus. of juggalos. Juggalos. <laughs> Uh, no, it's the fear of swallowing. Yeah. Okay. What? How, but yeah. how do you eat? <laughs> you don't. Uh. You just, you know, I know some bitches out there that ain't got this fear. <laughs> <laughs> and some girl, I've met, I've had, a, I knew a few girls that were yeah. spitters too. What the fuck? What if spitter? Is that a computer? Yeah, I think so. What if, like, you know, like, it's a swallower or a spitter. What if a spitter actually just spat like it out like it's just chicks who like think they're like those fucking lizards from fucking Jurassic Park. They get a mouthful of night. Oh, <laughs> oh god! Oh, <my> <laughs> <laughs> uh, their neck frizz off. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just, just, the fear of swallowing. So you're just sitting there just drooling all the time because you can't swallow your spit. I guess that's true, but mm-hmm. I don't understand how someone can be like. How, how that's even an actual phobia. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Well, I know uh, it's when you have rabies. Um, mm-hmm. It's weird. Rabies is... Have you ever looked into rabies and see, like, what happens to a person? They basically become, like, a zombie. Um, later, that's, a, like, close to the end. You just get really angry. You start, like, fucking shit up. But before that, um, this happens. You develop a fear of swallowing because your your muscles start stopping from working. So you can't swallow, so you can't pass water, you can't pass food. You also develop an extremely irrational fear of water. Like, they'll see, like, a tub of water, and they're freaking out. Like, no, 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 no get me away from it. I, I can't be near that. What it's just fuck? so weird. Like, why do you develop a fear of water that bad when you have rabies? I mean, damn. Yeah. That is weird. I mean, I know, I know, rabies is like the closest thing, like in the animal kingdom, to having actual like zombies and shit. Because yeah. like, once you reach to that point, they're basically just trying to infect other people, or other yeah. other people, or other. I mean, it's most common with what dogs and animals. 
Felines, maybe. Do felines? Yeah, cats get rabies too. Yeah, all animals do. Yeah, except for like possums. Oh, that's yeah, true. Possums can't get rabies. All right, um, two more. Aerophobia. Aerophobia. Yeah, aerophobia. Uh, shit. A e r o phobia. What the fear of wind? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. You're the fear of fresh air or movement of air, such as drafts or breezes. You can thank Final Fantasy for that one. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> but no, yeah, just just being scared of a draft, so you can never have AC. What do you live? You live in a box. Yeah. I no mean, ventilation. You can never go to the beach. Yeah. Or the Midwest. Someone waves their hand really fast. You freak out. I mean. That makes me think, where would you have to go where there's no wind? That's you literally have to be in a room, like, no vents or anything. Yeah, but uh, is it just feeling wind, or is it also the sound of wind? Because you're going to hear wind. Ooh, yeah, that'd be crazy, too. Because think about it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, if it's a windy day, you hear the wind. Like, yeah, whoosh, like you'll hear it. You got to live underground. I guess that is true. All right. And then emetophobia. A metaphobia? Yeah. The fear of the metaverse. No. Uh, the fear of vomiting. Oh. Yeah. I don't have that fear. No. I do. I mean, I don't... I, no one likes to vomit. Nobody likes to vomit, but I would prefer not to. Yeah. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever, ever like, had a really bad, like, vomit, like, like session or anything like that. Like, I've never been... I've been sick a couple of times where I did throw up, but I've never been, like, debilitated. It's just like, oh, I'm sick to the point that I'm about to throw up, and then I throw up, and then yeah. I'm good. No, like, I've, it's, like, to me, it's, um like, I've told Hannah, too, like, if I need to throw up, I'm just going to go ahead and try to make myself throw up. Yeah. Because you feel so much better afterwards. Like, yeah, you, your throat fucking hurts, or maybe with Taste all that nose. acid. Yeah. But afterwards... You passed all that whatever was fucking making you sick out, and you're just like, oh, my God, I feel so much better because it's out. It's gone. Yeah. Unless you have, like, a fucking stomach bug, and it just keeps coming. Yeah. But if it's like you're, like, especially if you go out drinking or something, and you drink too much, like, salt. Or like, it's when you drink a lot of sugary drinks, that's when I, mm. I think that's when I would throw up. When you drink, when you eat too much salt water taffy. <laughs> Well, and you're too. at the beach. And Dude, no, that'll make your throw up like fucking like glue. <laughs> yeah, just throwing up all that taffy. Oh, what would be the worst consistency in throw up? Glue. It, with, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, but I'm saying like what like <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like the worst I've ever had. The worst I've ever like thrown up was from like just drinking too much. You yeah. know, I didn't get alcohol poisoning yeah. or anything, but, but it's I just mean, liquid at least. Dude, when you see a friend get alcohol poisoning, that shit's that's just crazy. That shit's yeah. scary. It's fucking scary, yeah. dog. Because it's kind of like, oh, God, this person's going to fucking die yeah. if we don't get them some water. Yeah. Uh, but you need to get to the hospital at that, that point. That is yeah. true. I'm trying to think. Uh, I, I know I've like the worst throw up moments I've had is maybe like throwing up like spicy food. Uh, yeah. Like like you were sick, you ate something spicy, and you're like, uh oh, like here yeah. it comes, and you just get that you get that acid burn, but also the hot sauce or Dude. salsa burn. No, for me, the two worst ones. The first one, top one, is when I found that I was allergic to coconuts, because my body was like, "Nope, you gotta keep throwing up until it's all gone," and it wouldn't stop. Is that the only thing you're allergic to right now? No, penicillin. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's two of us. Yeah. Uh, but no, like I was, I just kept throwing up. Like my body was just forcing myself to, and that was it was hard and it fucking sucked, dude. And it was like a couple hours of doing that shit. Mm -hmm. And then the second one was when I went to Virginia with my buddies and we went to go like hang out and we went to a Slayer concert. But this is before that. Um, uh, we were drinking, day drinking, and we got drunk. And a buddy of mine, he got like this whole like seafood platter because in Virginia they have like oysters and shit too. Mm -hmm. And I fucking hate oysters, dude. But I was at a point of really, drunk. yeah, I fucking hate oysters, dude. I got <laughs> to that point where I was too drunk to care what I was trying to eat. Like, it was just like, oh, I need food in my system. Whatever's there, I'll eat it. Yeah, I can't eat. I can't not not eat, like, oysters without getting my yeah. dick hard. Like, every time you slurp that shit up. It's, it's a natural, uh, it's a natural fucking, um, what's it called? Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. And okay. it's true. <laughs> rock hard every time. I mean, it doesn't count if you're already rock hard before you start eating them. No, no, no. It, it works the opposite way. Because, dude, I remember 
I remember one time we went to like a seafood restaurant. And we were like, dude, let's get some fucking oysters. I haven't had oysters in a long time. I got some oysters. I ate them now. And then I'm a couple of minutes later, I'm like, oh, oh, now. Are you looking at your buddy's ass being like, mm, maybe? I was with my wife. Oh, uh, okay. You okay. said you're, you said dude. No. You oh, said no, dude. I said, hey, let's, I said, let's go. No, gets, you said dude. When did I say dude? You said dude a second ago. Maybe my wife has a dick. How about you leave me alone? Okay, right, don't cool. judge me. No, I'm going to judge the fuck out of you now. <laughs> no, you judge me. No, but like, no, to me, I can't fucking stand oysters. They're slimy. It's just like, it's Dude, just, the hardest I've ever no, been. It's it, a hard loogie in a fucking shell. You ever had that boner that hurts? That's the kind I got. Oh, it God, was, dude, this fucking suck. Uh, honestly, yeah. for me, no. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> it's it's one of those, like, if you can get it, if you can take care of it, like, like soon, great. But if you have to wait. That shit fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> if you want to go down a funny like YouTube rabbit hole, look up um I don't gas look up boners. No, look up gas station boner pill reviews. It's just a bunch of <laughs> it's just a bunch of it, it's literally all every video is just a black dude like in a car being like I just took this shit now. Now, if you want it to hurt, like if you want if, if you want it to hurt, take this one. If you want it to hurt her, take this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, try to limit yourself to one. Two of these will make you pass out. <laughs> we should get uh, we should get sponsored by that blue chew. Oh, dude, I'm that's all I want in life. Yeah. I want to get free blue chews. Yeah, I, I want to try one out, and see what all the hubbub's about. I I I, yeah. I do too, but I'm also very anxious at it because I anxious about it because I know it does raise your blood pressure a little yeah, bit. So I'm afraid true. of I'm afraid of it being Passing like, out. yeah, because like I don't I. I don't have high blood pressure, but I I know when yeah. you, your blood pressure is high. You know, you but, feel it like your head's throbbing. Your yeah, your, your hearing goes a little. Yeah, you feel your heartbeat kind of go up a little mm-hmm. bit. And you're just like, ooh, like you, you got to sit sweat. down. That happens to me every Thanksgiving. <laughs> every fucking Thanksgiving, just dog. being fat, dude. <laughs> dude. I double up on that fucking dressing, dog. Dude, you know it sucks. I can't do that shit no more. Huh? Yeah, because mm. it's just so many. It's so much bread that it just it'll fuck me over. I can't be fat no more. I can't. <laughs> That sucks. Yeah. But, you um, had a good run. Yeah. <laughs> you had a good run. <laughs> did a good run. <laughs> had a 30 years of being fat. <laughs> Not 30 years. I started getting fat in fourth grade. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Give or take. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> I don't know. You might need to ask your mom. Your mom might have been like. Oh, no, was, I remember. Was, was fucking... I, I got fat when I got asthma because I, I feel... got scared. Yeah, I feel bad for all our moms because we all got big ass heads. That must have been a fucking bitch to push out. Bro, I was a big ass baby too. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, dude, like when I, I was little, we passed in the grocery store and we passed the counter, the the meat counters, and they had the butter ball mm-hmm. uh, chickens and stuff. Yeah, and they're big motherfuckers. And mom was like, "That's what you were." I'm like, <laughs> Thanks, mom. I'm a butter ball. <laughs> no, but for real, it's just like, God damn, like I'm gonna feel bad for like. Uh, my wife fucking pushing out a baby that's mine. Bro, a I'm gonna feel ass. bad for my wife. Oh, dude, <laughs> she's five foot. <laughs> After that, you're just gonna hear a coastal breeze. <laughs> she's gonna look at me the entire time. I was like, "No, you destroyed me." <laughs> my pussy and my asshole became one because of you. <laughs> oh God, dude, that happens. Yeah, a lot, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of weird shit happens when uh, someone has a baby. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, they get fat and angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> no. <laughs> get your ass whooped. Oh. Anyways, thanks for listening to another episode of The Night Funk. Uh, make sure to give us a follow at The Night Funk Podcast on Instagram, also on TikTok. Find us on YouTube for um, episodes. This should be posted on YouTube very soon. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, new episodes every Friday. Catch us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, anywhere that you can listen to podcasts. And, um, you know, stay tuned for more stuff. We got more uh, videos and uh, podcasts planned. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, you know, make sure to tip your waiters. Make sure to look both ways when crossing the road. Yeah. Um, if you're... If you have any phobias that we mentioned today and we made fun of it, you shouldn't have that phobia. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm really mean today, yeah. aren't I? All right, uh...
handles. Handles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want to follow us at our personals, uh, you can find me at Handful of Pedro on Instagram. Handful of Pedro? Handful of Pedro. God damn it, dude. Also in the woods. All right. And as always, <laughs> new episodes every Friday. I already yeah. said this shit. All right. I'm done with this. Yeah, you didn't even read your thing. You usually read off your Yeah, thing. I do, but I was supposed to do this at the top of the episode, not the end. But, I mean, we made it this far. I yeah. didn't even mention it. It was a pretty, pretty tight podcast. Yeah, it was fun. Very tight. So tight. Like your mother's pussy. Oh! This is the second time I've mentioned somebody's mother's, like, yeah. somebody's mother's pussy. Oh, I forgot. Tiananmen right Square. Wow, oh, damn. We almost yeah. forgot. Yeah, almost. <laughs> All right. Bye. Shout out to my boy, <laughs> Jin Jinping. Yeah. And that guy on TikTok, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Stop <laughs> eating poop. Yeah. Why is he eating poop all the time? Yeah. And live your truth, man. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just yeah. live your truth. Yeah. Hey, uh, Blue Truth, hit us up. Yeah. We need sponsors, baby. Yeah. Make me so hard. We get like a solid, like, I don't know how many plays. Not a lot. <laughs> Give us more. Yeah. Change that. Yeah. Get <laughs> us up there. We want sponsors. Yeah. We're desperate for attention. Can't you tell? Mm. So desperate. I'm about to start only. Oh, the song's over. Oh, goddamn. We, dragged, <laughs> we really dragged this one out. <laughs> we can't shut up. All right, bye. Got it later. <laughs>